Hello beautiful people. Today is a book review Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. The number one personal finance book of all time, Robert Kiyosaki shares the story of his two dad, his real father, whom he calls his poor dad, and the father of his best friend, the man who became his mentor and his rich dad. Robert had two fathers, a rich one and a poor one. One was highly educated with a Ph.D. The other father didn't finish the eighth grade. Poor dad, study hard so you can find a good company to work for. Rich dad, study hard so you can find a good company to buy. Poor dad, I'm not rich because I have children. Rich dad, I must become rich because I have children. Poor dad, don't talk about money over dinner. Rich Dad, talk about money and business over dinner. Poor Dad, struggles to save a few dollars. Rich Dad, creates investments. Poor Dad, teaches how to write a strong resume. Rich Dad, teaches how to write a strong business and financial plan. While both men worked hard and earned a lot of money, there was always one who struggled with money. And the other Dad, well, he became one of the richest people in Hawaii. The biggest financial lesson to learn is that it's all about how much money you keep, not how much you make. And without financial literacy, you'll lose your money soon. The biggest challenge poor people have is knowing the difference between an asset and a liability. Knowing the difference between the two can help you become rich. So, what's the difference? An asset puts money into your pocket. A liability takes money out of your pocket. Assets add to your income. Liabilities add to your expenses. And the job of a poor person pays you an income that then covers your expenses. The job of a middle class person pays you an income then pays down liabilities then pays expenses. However, for a rich person, their assets pay them an income. For example, their assets may give them rental income, dividends, interest, or royalties. Here are a few examples of liabilities that the middle class own. Mortgage Car loans Credit card debt School loans Here are a few examples of assets that rich people own. Real estate Stocks Bonds Notes intellectual property so to sum up the rich buy assets the poor only have expenses the middle class buy liabilities they think are assets mind your own business the rich focus on their asset columns while everyone else focuses on their income statements in this chapter the author carefully introduces the concept of investing in real estate and gives as an example what McDonald's has done. This company, although it may not offer the best types of hamburgers in the world, but it has its restaurants in the best intersections and streets in America. The author notes that individuals should consider creating their own projects if they desire financial independence, and that they do not think of working for others so they are merely a measure for them. But rather they should always strive to be their business heads, not just subordinates. The Power of Corporations Financial IQ is made up of four key areas. Accounting, ability to read numbers. Investing, the concept of money making money. Understanding markets, knowing supply and demand. The law, knowing the tax advantages and protections your corporation can provide. Tax advantages, Corporations can pay expenses before taxes, which employees can't do. A corporation can spend everything it can and be taxed only on everything left over. You can expense car payments, insurance, repairs, health club memberships, and most restaurant meals. Protection from lawsuits, the rich use corporations to protect their assets from creditors. Whereas the poor and middle class try to own everything themselves. Overcoming Obstacles 
The primary difference between a rich person and a poor person is how they manage fear. There are five core reasons why even the financially literate don't become financially independent. Fear Cynicism Laziness Bad habits Arrogance Before you win, you lose. Like all those times you fell off a bicycle before you learned how to ride it. Before people became rich, they lost money. Most people are more afraid of the pain of losing money than the happiness of becoming rich. Rich Dad knew that failure would only make him stronger and smarter. Getting Started One Find a reason greater than reality, the power of spirit. Two Make daily choices, the power of choice. 3. Choose friends carefully, the power of association. 4. Master a formula and then learn a new one, the power of learning quickly. 5. Pay yourself first, the power of self-discipline. 6. Pay your brokers well, the power of good advice. 7. The power of getting something for nothing. 8. Use assets to buy luxuries, the power of focus. 9. Choose heroes. The Power of Myth 10. Teach and you shall receive, the power of giving. Finally as the rich dad said, If you want to be rich, you must know what kind of income to work hard for, how to keep it, and how to protect it from loss. That is the key to great wealth. If you do not understand the differences in those three incomes and do not learn the skills on how to acquire and protect those incomes, you will probably spend your life earning less than you could and working harder than you should. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel.